What's up guys and welcome to Sophia Land Gymnastics. If you're new here, my name is Sophia Campana and if you are a returning flame, good to have you guys back. You're in for a very exhilarating video today. Dun dun dun! We are officially facing the one, the only, your Chinko loop on the high beam. I think that if the music accompanies this kind of movement... Am I crazy? Potentially. But sometimes you need a little crazy to achieve crazy things. Wow, that just really came from my heart. I'm just all in in the motivational intros lately in my videos. We're gonna use a lot of padding, we're gonna do a lot of drills, and a lot of numbers before I actually launch myself on that beam, because a lot of things could go wrong here. I could miss my hands and fall on my ribs. I could miss my hands and fall on my face. I could fling backwards and I, yeah. But we're not gonna think about that. We're gonna focus on what we need to do. Prep just in case anything bad does happen, but focus on what we need to do. I've only got an hour before rec classes start. So here's my plan of attack, guys. We're just gonna get down to business. Leave a like if you think there's a small chance I could successfully complete the Yurchinko loop. We're gonna see who the real ones are. If you haven't subscribed yet, guys, we're almost at 100,000 flames on this channel, so make sure to hit the subscribe button. We're gonna start by back handspring off, back handspringing off the edge. I don't really see anything because my hair, but I did get the hands on. That means we need to bun it up. Bun it up, bun it. Shing yon, shing yon. Oh, I actually see it. I feel really flexible today. This is a great sign. Now the goal is to land in front support. Here, we found a different edge. I feel like I need to hold my legs up like a pack to stall, like hold my legs down like a pack to stall it. Otherwise I'm just out of control coming down out of it. Yes, that was better. Like that. Gotta watch my videos. Okay, I just see that my shoulders need to go more forward. So I'm watching Natalia Yurchenko's video and she actually lands just like I am. Like she's not like a head, like her hips aren't on the beam. Her chest right below her ribs are what land on the beam and then she just da goes down for the back hip circle which is the most terrifying part to me. So I think I'm just gonna go on the high beam and start trying back hip circles and then yeah, go from there. Cause I've never done a back hip circle on the beam guys and that's honestly the most terrifying part of this for me. Who agrees? I feel like I'm like a preschooler. How do you do back hip circle on the beam? Like no, the mechanics are not making sense in my mind. Some things I just understand and some things just no, no. <laughs> oh, that was not that scary. Oh. Great. And that is why we use mats. I'm scaring all the kids right now that are getting here for the rec classes. Hi, Doric! Trying skills. That was the worst that can happen. Oh! Time to get Coach Tarek. Will you spot me, Tarek? Will you spot me on a back hip circle? <laughs> I haven't asked for a spot on a back hip circle in 25 years. <laughs> so I'm thinking you have to be like here when you fall. So can you do a kick and pullover? Get your wrist. Right? So you see how it shifted so easily? So I'm thinking you gotta be like here. Okay. You're gonna fall and then shit, your hands will fall here. Try kicking pull over right here. 
wrist over. Oh, wrist over. Yeah. So do I move them on my underneath. Oh my god, that's gonna it's be hard. Right over the nose. And when they do it, their arms are never straight, they're bent. Yeah, they are. Yeah. So think about it, they're death gripping most of the time. And then really dropping their shoulders. Just go horizontal and then drop. <laughs> just do it, so. Just just drop. Okay, you can keep that. Oh, that is redonkulous, right? But I belly think hurts it's the now. Speed that hurts. I know. <laughs> I think it's the speed that's helping her. Okay, so pass, keep your arms bent, keep your chest forward till your feet are under, and then it's forward. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That is that so is, hard. Maybe it's easier from the back hook because yeah. she kept on going so fast. She has no choice but the back hip circle. So if you go from a handstand. Oh my gosh. Maybe handstand and then bend your arms a little bit and then fall and bent. you guys let me tell you check this action out my arms are wrecked from trying the back hip circle it was worth it it was fun back hip circle way out of my league however the first part we pretty much had I'm gonna come back in and keep working on these I've gotten to the point where I don't know where up is and where down is so that's a stopping point <laughs> Now the old version of me would keep going until I hurt myself, but I'm going to be a mature athlete, a smart athlete, and say, you know what? There's always tomorrow. We're going to come back. XOXO, see you in the next video, and may the fire be within you. <laughs> Bye, guys. Oh, and comment how I can make this better.